Okay, we're going to go ahead and once again start a new part. Um, if you're just finishing a drawing, you'll notice you have this icon here at the top of your screen, which is new. Um, you also have the new part menu here. Um, either one can be selected. You'll notice if you click on this option, we're always going to be using a standard inch part. So let me go ahead and double click on this. Okay, as always, we're going to start a new 2D sketch. Either click here or I can right click and select new sketch. You'll notice the shortcut key is S for new sketch. Okay, for this one I'm going to take a different approach. I'm actually going to go ahead and start with the top view. So for ISO line 3, I'm going to select what's called the XZ plane. Now keep something in mind. I'm looking at this from a top view perspective. I'm going to do something here that I think is going to be helpful. I'm looking at the top, you'll notice it's slightly rotated. I'm going to hit this little arrow here, and this is going to bring it down. And you might find this is going to be pretty much the way you and I are both, both going to envision the top view. So once again, I'm going to start with the line tool, so I can either right click and select line. Starting here, I'm going to click once. And you'll notice I'm going to be drawing the line that is one and one half inches in length. Now remember, keep it vertical, 90 degrees. And I'm going to type in 1.5. You can see it's rather small here. Um, if you want, you can always select Zoom All. Um, you're going to notice we're probably going to run out of space again, but that's okay. I'm just going to move over to the right. And you'll see in the drawing, this is a distance of 4. I'm going to hit Enter. Let me go ahead and hit Zoom All again. There we go. And from this point, I'm going to be coming down, and you can see this on the drawing. It actually says 3 over 4, which is also 0.75. As always, make sure you're always moving 90 degrees. I'm going to move over in this direction, according to the drawing. This is actually going to be a distance of 3 inches. If you look carefully, you'll see how I calculated that. This should be a distance of 3. And I'm going to move straight down. Make sure I stop right there, and you'll notice that's a distance of 0.75, and as always, right back to the origin. Okay, we've talked about this before. This is very important. I'm going to go ahead and select Finish Sketch. Okay, now keep in mind, you can always hit your escape key a few times, double click on a dimension if something is not correct, and change it. You can also right click, and you can delete something that you've drawn. Okay, but everything looks good. So I'm going to go ahead and select Finish Sketch. You're going to notice over here, when I finish the sketch, okay, we can see the sketch. I'm going to go ahead now and once again select the Home button. And I'm going to go ahead and do an extrusion. So I'm going to go ahead and select Extrude, either Extrude here or the letter E, or right click and select Extrude. Now you always automatically see it's moving in the correct direction, which is up. Um, we do want this to be at a distance of 2.5. I'm going to hit enter. Okay, it's kind of, kind of going off the page here, so let me hit the home button again. Okay, now this is where we're going to actually make a second sketch. Okay, you'll notice the first one kind of disappeared. If I click here, the first sketch is here. I'm just going to hover over it, and there's the extrusion that goes along with it. Okay. So I'm going to go ahead and just click on part 6 just to make sure that I'm at the top of this hierarchy here. I'm going to create a new sketch. Either select here or right click and select new sketch. And on this I'm going to create a sketch on this face. So you'll notice I'm going to select this face. Okay, and what I need to do here is I need to draw something that represents what I see on the paper. Now, watch how I do this. I'm just going to just draw three lines. I'm going to hit right click create line. I'm not even going to be too concerned. I could, but I don't have to be too concerned about length. I'm just going to go ahead and click, click, and click. Now, one thing you'll find is I don't see any dimensions. Okay, so let me go ahead and hit the escape key a few times. And let me go ahead and click on the dimension tool. Let's go ahead and get dimension here. So I'm going to go ahead and select this line, click once, and select this line or corner. Go ahead and click. Let's put a dimension here. And if you notice you know, this is supposed to be 0.5. There it is. Let's go ahead and add another dimension here. So it's going to be click on the line. Go ahead and click on this line. Move over to the side. Click another time. 
you'll notice this is 0.75 and the last one here is making sure that I have the right length here. So I'm going to click on this line here and be careful to make sure you're clicking where you need to be clicking to get the correct dimension. I'm going to click again and according to my drawing this should be 2. Okay, there it is. Now, as always, finish your sketch. I'm going to go ahead and select Extrude. Okay. Now you'll notice I can select multiple faces to extrude, but I do want this one right here. And because this one is going all the way through, here's a nice trick. I can select the opposite direction and don't even have to type in a number. It don't have to be precise. As long as it's going beyond the back, I can hit OK. And there it is. It's complete. So I'm going to go ahead and select Zoom All. I'm going to hit the Home button. And please make sure you do that with every drawing before you save. And once again, go ahead and save ISO line 3 to your H drive in your ISO line and ISO circ folder. Good job.